Donald and Douglas are Scottish twin engines. They're practical, peppery, and proud. They nearly always work together. One day, Donald and Douglas were chuffing through the countryside, hauling a heavy load. Down the line, Trevor the traction engine had been struggling with a big cartload of hay. While he was crossing the tracks, the cart's wheels had broken off. Then Trevor heard a whistle. Oh no, Trevor cried. Donald could see the cart. Stop, he cried. Donald's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt. Stop being pushy, Donald snapped. Don't call me pushy, Douglas snapped back. You shouldn't have pushed me into the car, up Donald. You pulled me, you mean, argued Douglas. Didn't. Did. Did not. Did too. Before long, the track was cleared and Donald and Douglas were on their way. The twins were so cross, they refused to speak to each other for the rest of the day. The next day, Sir Topham Hatt needed an engine to help duck at the smelter's yards. May I go, sir? said Donald eagerly. I only need one engine, said Sir Topham Hatt. Not two. I am only one engine, sir, said Donald, and I would like to work with duck. Sir Topham Hatt was surprised, but agreed. Thomas was worried. Won't you miss one another? he asked. I know I'd miss Annie and Clarabelle. I'll work better on my own, sniffed Douglas. I have work to do, huffed Donald. At first, Donald enjoyed working with Duck. Then things started to go wrong. Did you shunt those freight cars onto the other line? Donald asked. You said you wanted them on the other line, Duck replied. Not that other line, the other other line. Donald was cross. Douglas would have known what I meant, he huffed. Douglas was working on his own. He chuffed through the beautiful countryside. But Douglas had no one to share his work with. Although he tried not to, he was beginning to miss his twin. That night, Douglas's driver took him to visit Donald. I was just passing, said Douglas. Have you come to say you're sorry? Donald sniffed. This made Douglas very cross. I have nothing to be sorry for, he said, and steamed away in a huff. The next day, Donald was in a bad mood. Duck could see he was getting too close to the buffers. Look out, Duck shouted, but it was too late. Donald's driver was very cross. This wouldn't have happened if you were working with Douglas, he said. Donald knew he was right, and Duck knew he couldn't pull Donald back onto the rails. So he went for help. Douglas was sadly finishing his work as Duck steamed into the depot. Donald is in trouble, said Duck. Donald in trouble, Douglas cried. I'm on my way, and he steamed off as fast as he could. Douglas struggled and struggled, and he finally pulled his twin gently back onto the tracks. He was relieved Donald wasn't hurt. Thank you, Donald said, and I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, said Douglas. I'm sorry, insisted Donald. Don't argue about who's sorry, chuckled Duck. Just be glad you're back together. And they were.